Okay, so Brandon Nimmo signed a new contract with the Mets for eight years and north of $160 million. Uh, he is coming off a career year where he set personal bests in doubles, hits, uh, RBI. He was the National League leader in triples. A good ball player who is injury prone, so hopefully he can stay healthy for the duration of that contract. All right. It is Friday afternoon, and I got a hanger box of 2022 Topps Archive Baseball. Let's see what we can find. I believe the best card that I've pulled out of this set was a numbered Mike Schmidt card. No autos to the best of my recollection, but that can change. Kyle Mueller... Aaron Ashby, Jose Abreu, you know, these cards with their uh, non-glossy surfaces are ideal for graphing. Bryce Harper, Hank Aaron Award, some 87 throwbacks of the Crone Zone and Kiebert Ruiz. Cedric Mullins, Chris Sale, Albert Pujols, Josh Bell who has a new home. He will be with the Guardians. And this looks like a numbered card, I believe. It is. It is 34 out of 75 of Shane Bieber. Nice hit there. Fernando Tatis, greetings from San Diego. So I'm looking at the uh, revamped lineup, or the revamped projected lineup, and it looks like they're going to move him to right field whenever he comes back from his suspension. And a couple of 87 throwbacks of O'Neill Cruz rookie card and Xander Bogarts, who just signed that large deal with San Diego. Andrew Benatendi, I do believe he is still a free agent. Kyle Lewis, the unit, Brooks Robinson, the return, Trey Mancini, great story. Got his first World Series ring this year. Kyle Tucker and Starling Marte. The Bambino. Babe Ruth. Very nice. Mike Piazza. The best hitting catcher of all time. Carlton Fisk, who also had a big bat. Hall of Famer. Lars Newtbar. Trey Mancini once again. Mark McGuire. He was just featured on that contemporary era ballot and he fell short of the 75% threshold. I don't think he will ever get in, nor should he. David Wright and Jim Palmer. If you get a chance, going over to my short section. I met him last weekend, got his autograph, and there is footage of that. Sia Suzuki. Reese Hoskins, Steven Strasburg, Donnie Baseball, Vladdy Sr., Nolan Arenado, Pee Wee Reese, and Willie Adamas. DJ LeMayhew, Carlos Correa, he is still on the free agent market. I know the Dodgers have shown some interest, but there is... Conflicting feelings among the Dodger fan base about signing him, given his role in that Astros scandal. Tris Speaker, Joe Musgrove, Scott Rowland, who <clears throat> from the leftover or from the holdovers from last year's Hall of Fame ballot has the best chance to get in. It may be just the Fred McGriff show at next year's Cooperstown indu induction. Roland, uh, I think he will eventually get in, but he may not get in on this next ballot. We shall see very soon. Salvador Perez and Sonny Gray, we got the last pack here. Ozzy Albies, Kevin Smith, Chaz McCormick, Vladdy Jr., Marcus Stroman, Justin Verlander, fresh off his third Cy Young win, signed a huge two year deal with the Mets. Brian De La Cruz, Brandon Marsh, and Josh Lowe. So, a nice card that panned out of this blaster box, this Shane Bieber Red Border Parallel. Once again, it is numbered 34 out of 75. So, that is it for this break. 
I'll be posting more videos throughout the day. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you sooner than later.